Hi guys, Country Girl Five 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 here, Tina. Yes, my channel is under Country Girl Five Five Five. Um, for some reason, after a couple of years with YouTube, you know how all the changes go with them. They hooked in my Google account and blah 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 with my YouTube, so it gives my real name, Tina Jones. And of course, I've never uploaded any videos to to that because that's not how I started out doing anything. <laughs> so it's Country Girl 555 and there are a lot of videos there um, if you want to go and look at some of those. But uh, Kelly, I am glad to be in your challenge. I'm glad to let you post in to take it back. I'm actually really glad that uh, we've come together to do this 90 day challenge because it means a lot to all of us and um, it's really important that we come together and fight together and get over this plateau or whatever it is to take back our life take it back take back our lives and uh, continue with our weight loss. Uh, I've not had surgery. I'm doing this on my own. I started in 2010 under the assumption that I was going to have weight loss. Therefore, I worked like 18 months trying to live like a WLS patient, which is what my doctor told me to do. And then I got the heartbreaking news that I was not going to have lap band surgery. And, uh, Ever since then, I've gone down more in my weight loss, and then I stop. I go down more, and then I stop. I've had a big, huge fear of losing my titties. That's the number one thing. I lose so much weight, and then they're not there anymore. And then what's hanging on the side, down under here, is bigger than my boobs. So... When you get to that stage, I got to that stage, I was down to 244 pounds, and my breast was going away. None of my bras were fitting. You know, that's really hard when you want the stomach, which is driving you insane, to go away, and you're working off your assets. Yes, I know I could buy me some more, but I can't even buy the weight loss surgery, let alone buy new boobs. I kind of want my boobs, and I kind of like my boobs, and always have. So when you get to the point that you're, you're weighing in at 244 pounds, and this is the God's honest truth, people, I intentionally gained weight. Um, when you start out at 398.8 pounds, two ounces or whatever it is from being 400 pounds, you're, you know, you go with what you know. You do what you see others do. And then your journey takes a whole new turn because you see what you can do and how you've helped other people. Um... I get to that point where I'm really, really scared to lose any more. And I'm so tired of being scared of that. I really, really am. It's just, it's not just my, my boobs, my tatas, my boys, my girls. It's other things. Uh, you've been so secure in your body fat. For your whole entire life. That you. Uh, you tend to have. Severe emotional panic attacks. You know. Um, it's really. Emotional. And really. Disheartening. To not be able to go beyond that fear. Sorry guys. Um, when I tell you this is emotional. 
it's not. It's not any sort of joke. <laughs> it's really, really hard to take back your life. When that part of your life you're trying to take back, you've never had. When I say that, I hope you know what I mean. Because if you haven't had it, you don't know what you're going to get. And the not knowing that is very scary. But with that said, there is something great in doing the unknown. In finding out that you can do that. Make that choice and make that stride and use your strength to better yourself, to eat healthy, to be able to breathe better, to be able to walk further. Those things are worth it. I mean, nobody's going to look how they want to look ever. And nobody's probably ever going to feel like they want to feel. Always. But you have the choice to try and get to that stage where things feel feel good. Um, the amount of weight that I've lost and put back on would probably make me into four or five people. But I have really tried, struggled really hard to go down lower than 250 pounds. And I've done it two times. I've gotten the 250s lower than the 250s. And I honestly seen 244 for a good while. It wasn't something just that happened. Whoa, and you're back up. It was, I, I held 244 for a good while. And then my anxiety just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And so I fed that. And I went back up. And I am here just journaling this as a really emotional day. A re really emotional journey. And one that I have got to take control over. My question is, do any of you that have lost weight get to that point where you're scared, where you you don't look like you want to look, where you don't feel like you want to feel, and you stop yourself from achieving your goal because of the unknown? Alright guys, sorry for tears. But this is time to get down and dirty. This, you know, 90 day challenge for me means a lot. And I've got to figure out a way to get past the emotions. And I'm so glad to have all you helping me. Um, subscribe, like, share. Country Girl 555 here. Tina Jones. Peace out. That's how we roll. God bless you. Do something for yourself today so you can do something for someone else tomorrow. Or do something for someone else.